Hello people, this is Ryder here to review the Ultraman Blazar DX Blazar Stone 06 Delta Rising Set. This is a weird set in general. Um, so, there's not really any correlation to the show with this set besides the kaiju. That's not even the main the main one here because instead they're just continuing the trend that they did with zero five of just okay let's put out, out what we are going to consider the final forms for these ultras <laughs> so like obviously for some reason because it's Zet, the main one they have here is delta rise call which i don't mind personally because i like delta rise call then we have jeet galaxy rising Alright, we have Reboot just to, I guess, round out the new generation more, even though they already finished that. And we have our Kaiju Metal of the set, uh, Galvadon, I think is its name. It's really cute, honestly. I would actually want to get the vinyl. <laughs> like, look how cute it is. Uh, but, yeah, just basically the same stuff we've, uh, we've gone, we've always had. And... It's really interesting that they went with this blue. So here we have the stones out yet again. So let's take a look at them one by one. So I don't get it, but this is our title stone for the set because they named the set off of this particular stone for no reason. <laughs> Zet. Uh, the Zet Stone Delta Rise Claw is its official name, but we'll just go with the Delta Rise Claw Stone. And, like, I don't mind it. I just think it's unfortunate that, like, all these stones are going to be the same color. Because this is our third power-up stone that's yellow and gold. It it gets kind of annoying. <laughs> like, I think, I don't know, this one does work for sure. I mean, like, Delta Rise Hall is my favorite of Zet's forms and such, so I don't mind it. B136. And then to go along with Delta Rise Call, we have... Jade Galaxy Rising! <laughs> Not Royal Mega Master. Galaxy Rising. Um... I do like the color scheme of this one, though. I like the blue with the gold. Like, this is a really cool color scheme, and I think this is a cool way of representing this form and such. And as you can see from here, this one's B120. And just for the sake of it, here, you know, for those that want to be ignorant, they are different. <laughs> the heads are different because they changed the back fin. I think, I think this is supposed to be more orb and such, but you can definitely see from here, like, I think these uh, portraits actually do help out, actually outline the differences between, like, just the slight differences there are and such, as, because you can see here, like, there's more of this earpiece here that wasn't present beforehand with primitive as opposed to galaxy rising. Now, I guess this kind of counts <laughs> for the new generation stone with this set, but here's Reboot, who, like, I, I, I like, he's pretty cool, I like the green <laughs> and such, we barely get green uh, ultra metal, ultra stones, and it's a different shade of green, I think, it, it's so weird that there's a rarity of green for the blazer stones. Because this is a... X is typically represented with this green, but... No, this is our first and I think only stone? That's this deep green, which is cool. <laughs> and then he is B131. So, again, for the coles minded crowd, here's a comparison with Ultraman. They are different, because... <laughs> Reboot actually has different ears. And his face, I think, is more scrunched up. 
But like, Reboot, you can clearly tell there's something different. And also, his ears are going, like, back as opposed to forward. So, you can't use the excuse that they're all the same. You're just being closed-minded. <laughs> it's called educating yourself. And then here's our singular kaiju stone of the set. Gavadon. <laughs> like, I always appreciate that since set 3, they've been trying to include a kaiju stone. And interestingly, they chose purple for this one. Again, this one takes the same route as uh, Garamon, where they added an element of the kaiju. So, like, it shoot. I guess it's supposed to, like, shoot out a star or something. I guess it's just to fill out the stone. And it is B164. So, let's use these in the blazer brace and hopefully we don't have to change batteries constantly. So, if you watch the Candy Toy 2 video, you should know how this one will work. So there we get the rise sound for Delta Rise Call. Again, I always appreciate hearing the grunt. We actually do get a new finisher, just like with Glitter Trigger Eternity. Because there we actually get the Deathseum Fang, I think was the last finisher. It's just not going to focus. Obviously, Haruki's Ultraman Z callout is incredibly inaccurate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then Galaxy Rising. See, that actually works. I really do like how that that actually aligned. Even though it's not accurate, it still it still works seamlessly. I would say the grunt is carried over. But no wrecking Phoenix. Or I think no Did the Did the D Flasher actually retrofy it to be the Wrecking Phoenix and not the Galaxy Burst. <laughs> because Wrecking Phoenix is more accurate. Reboot. Just the normal standby. No trigger ism. Obviously, only that is carried over. But other than that, um, you might be wondering what the animation is actually from, because I actually thought it was like just the special uh, one. However, uh, I realized that it, it's the one from the new generation stone, which I don't mind. <laughs> Obviously, it would have been neat if Reboot, like, I mean, at least Re they gave Reboot that one <laughs> as opposed to just the generic one. And he, obviously, because he is technically a new generation hero. But I guess not in the same vein as Zero. But, like, because I, I think Zero and Ryu are technically the two debatable ones. 
But yeah, he does get his finisher. I don't know why they don't use the one of him actually calling out the Galaxium bla Blaster. But, alright. Gavadon. How's your standard kaiju affair? <laughs> yes, this is the power of the kaiju. Because I think Gavadon is the only other, like, like, original series kaiju they brought back besides, uh, Garamon. So, yeah, um, honestly, now I think set five and six set six are kind of honestly tied in for weakest set <laughs> but honestly i think i'm still going to go with set five because i think the selection of this one at least is a bit more neater in a way i think it probably would have been better if they swapped these two for set five to make it more redeemable because especially I find it weird of including Reboot, but not having him alongside Trigger? <laughs> so I think that probably would have made this set... Uh, I don't know. Well, I, 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 this set is just weird because it was clearly done just to get Gavadon out there because by the, that the time this was getting released and such. And like... I'm I'm glad that they finally like they at least completed one collection. <laughs> like finally. Like we got all of Zet's forms, and that's cool. Reboot is also pretty cool. And indeed, um I I really like how this one I appreciate what they did with it and such. Cause it it would have been cool if like I know this is unnecessary. It would have been cool if there was a Zet original that was in the style that was under the trigger sounds. Even though it wouldn't make sense, it just would have been cool as like a special sound. But again, it's just, I guess it's just just for me, it's kinda neat to finally hear these hyper key sounds that were clearly ripped from his episodes from Zet actually being properly used <laughs> even though again i can get that through the memorial edition but i mean like newly ripped and such so like i i think the set is a little bit better than set five but again we're, we're at the point where it's like okay you don't necessarily need to get this anymore like you don't need to continue buying into these anymore but like what I said, Reboot is technically a part of the new generation, thanks to new generation stars. So they did technically fill in that quota of, hey, here's a new generation Ultra of the set and such. Despite the fact he doesn't have the same uh, specs as the others and such. Because if they did, then he will be stuck under the trigger specs. <laughs> or the, the regulations under, under the trigger stones. From what this toy establishes. And I think it's just better that he doesn't go through a trigger dark route. So like. Reboot is pretty interesting. <laughs> just where he lands. And such. And I think. Where's multi-type? Apparently, he takes place before Trigger's stones? Yeah, apparently he does. I think he's... I think he's... Te I think he technically takes place after Rube. Because that's... Because of... Ultra Galaxy fight. I was going to say New Generation fight, but that's not what that one's called. So... Like, I do recommend, like, obviously, I'll just say, like, these sets are inexpensive, so, like, you might as well pick them up <laughs> and such. And plus, like, you know, Gavadon is neat. I, I just kind of would have preferred if they actually started pushing through the Kaijus, because it's like, come on, Blazar, it's like, Blazar has, 
laser has a lot of kaiju, so like, why didn't they push through them? Because then I feel like the other route they would have gone through to get those stones out is probably packing them with the DX vinyls, or the Ultra Monster vinyls, and obviously I wouldn't have liked that, but it's like, just do whatever to get the kaijus out, come on! <laughs> But I don't know, this has been an issue with these the Ultraman gimmicks in a while. Like, oddly enough, Trigger was the last series that actually cared about the kaijus, but that's because they were stuck doing kaijus, because the kaijus were the only things pre-programmed and such. So, they obviously had to, like, and obviously to fulfill a Gashpon and Candy Toy line, of course they're obligated to put out the Kaijus because then they're not going to have any product. <laughs> but because for Decker and Blazar, the Ultras are also pre-programmed, of course they're going to try to push them out more than the Kaijus. And it's just sad. <laughs>